Man, it feels like we haven't touched this game in months. Glad to be back playing this amazing game. True, but I still wished it was teenage Peter Parker. This would have made this game 10 times better. Joe, when are you not gonna say something that could get you canceled? Oh, please, Barack, it's not like the whole world can hear these conversations because if they did, I would personally start World War III. No arguments from me, but only if you target the Middle East first. Hey, Barack, when is the annoying orange going to join? Don't tell me he's still recovering from the assassination attempt. I'm surprised you actually remember Joe. How couldn't I? It's a tragedy that anyone would want to try and kill a former president. I still remember when news broke out when Abraham Lincoln was killed. Um, Abraham Lincoln died in 1865. Your point being? Never mind, but I just hope Donald's all right. So yeah, if I win, I'll not only get rid of these illegal aliens, I'll also make it mandatory that fast food chains get their $1 menu back. You hear that, Ronald? Give us our dollar menu back. Mr. Trump, can I ask you a question? No, not really, but I'm feeling nice. Thank you, Mr. Trump. So, as you may know, that there was a robbery that took place over a week ago, and one of the assailants looked to be you, Mr. Trump. Do you have anything to say about that? Yeah, all those rumors that are saying that that dastardly but handsome robber is me are nothing but bullshit besides the robber being handsome. Actually, people think it was Queso with the way that guy was built. Boogie 2998 looking ass. Fat Albert, but if he was white. And... Shut your bitch. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey guys, how are you doing? Pretty good, but what about you? Must have been scary for the audience when they finally saw that big ass forehead you got. Damn! Shut the fuck up! My ass almost got JFK'd, and the first thing you guys do is make fun of me. Cry me a river. You're lucky this new generation can't aim for shit. Actually, the shooter was identified as Ben Shapiro. Reporters say that he was mad that you made him lose his job. What job? I never made him lose his job. You did when we robbed the bank last week. Because of the amount of money we stole, the bank had to let go of some employees, one of them being Ben. I swear, when I get my hands on that twerp, I'll ring him out. Whoa, what do you mean by that? Joe, get your head out of the gutter and instead focus on that re-election. As if, after that disastrous debate, your best chances are to just drop out. Yeah, right, Cheeto Dust. I ain't going anywhere. As your friend Joe, I think maybe it's time for you to drop out. You look more out of it than your son hitting the crack pipe. Come on, Barry, you don't actually think I'll ever drop out. I have to make promise of the American people of America of the United Kingdom. I mean, sauties. Just think about it, Joe. Just be glad that you were actually elected in 2020. Yeah, the election that you stole from me. Shut it, you fat Lorax. How many times are you going to spout out that malarkey? When you finally acknowledged that I was the rightful president of 2020. Guys, calm down. Let's leave the politics out for now. Even though I know you're going to bring it up again, Donald. Whatever. Show's over, Lee. Apparently the show's not over. This scene right here is what makes this a four out of 10 game. Just look how dirty they did Peter. What are you waffling about? Well, Joe, in case you forgot, which might as well be guaranteed, Spider-Man has his signature spider sense that warns him of incoming attacks. So, what's your point? Joe, you can't be this slow. But what Donald is saying is that in this scene, Spider-Man should have been able to dodge Lee's attack. Come on, sometimes things like these are needed so the story doesn't lose any tension, even if it means breaking some of the pre-established rules. It's called being lazy and uncreative. Donald, you can bitch about this all day, but Joe is right. For once in his life. Hey! You can't be expecting this shit to be consistent. Sometimes it's more fun to break those rules that were already created. Of course, it has to make sense and not be absolute dog shit like what Zeb Wells was printing. Fuck Jesus that guy. Christ. Talk about the worst writer in all of existence. I'm glad that Marvel finally did something right and fired his ass. He will not be missed, not one bit. All I hope is that Marvel continues to pump out that new Ultimate Spider-Man. Now that shit slaps. Never read it. I bet it's not even that good. Donald, your dumbass still thinks the new Megamind movie was a masterpiece. You have no say in this. Listen here, you ripe banana. 
The only reason Megamind did so badly was because it was given a lower budget than the original, leading to the animation not being as good and not being able to match the superb story it had. Donald, that movie had so many more issues than just the animation. The fucking story is just a rehash of the goddamn video game. The difference is that the movie perfected what the game couldn't. Shut the hell up, Trump. Say more whack shit like that and I'll make sure the next sniper won't miss. Oh my God, do we really have to hear this annoying ass bitch? Donald, we can whine all we want, but that won't do anything. So let's just suck it up and go through this like we always do. Hold up, Obama, look a bit down. Um, okay. Damn, I thought at least looking at her ass would help with this horrendous experience. Another thing this game did horribly was how they removed any appeal that Mary Jane had. She's supposed to be the hottest girl that every guy would do anything just to get a handshake from. That's why the next Spider-Man game should take place in Peter's high school era. At the very least, we'll get some hot ass characters. Jesus, no, I'm getting sick and tired of the same formula that these comic writers keep shelling out. That's why Spider-Man PS4 was a breath of fresh air. We finally got to see Peter in a more mature setting. Too bad they fumbled the bag with most of the characters. We are lucky that we got the Black Cat DLC. I'll proudly say that I busted a nut when she was revealed. Dog, what the fuck? Donald, no one wants to hear how you got off to Black Cat. How about we just cut to the part where we meet with Otto? What the? How did you do that? Lore for a different video. Wait, so why didn't you just skip it from the beginning? because I still had to play it. But like I said, that's lore for a future video. Well, the very least you could do is skip this fucking fraud. The only fraud here is your lard ass. Shut up, Sleepy Joe, says the one that rigged the election. Cry about it, Trump. Maybe I should call up Hit and make sure your ass is taken care of. Hit, who the fuck is that? Yes. He just threatened me and you don't even care? Donald, the only reason anyone would hit a headshot on you is because anywhere else the bullet would just bounce back. Not true. Then tell us your true weight, Donald. Maybe your lard ass can compete with Queso. Okay, let's just calm down. We both know that no one is heavier than Queso. Donald is a close second, but he's still not there. You guys can kiss my ass. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch. Notice the decay of my fine motor. Hmm. What the hell is that? Some sort of support? Yeah, Otto will build those tentacles later in the game to become Doc Ock. Why the hell would he make that? Because his body is failing him from a neural disease, just like how your body is failing from your old age. Come on, man, the one you should be targeting is Donald. His big ass is going to have a heart attack with the amount of Big Macs he eats every day. Oh, shut up, Joe. I have the greatest body out of all the presidents. Believe it. Here, I'll show you guys a picture of me working out. Donald, you send anything to the group chat and I'll send Michelle after that ass. I knew Michelle was a man. What? No, I mean that I'll send Michelle to beat Donald's ass. Oh, thank God. My ass still hasn't recovered from the soap incident. Still, I think it's a good idea to create those tentacle arm thingies. Maybe I can replicate some of that hentai I'd be watching. How about we just forget about this topic before Joe says something that'll make us want to nail our balls to a wood board? Isn't that a bit extreme? Barack, if only you knew the whack shit that Joe sends me. It'll make you believe that lobotomy wouldn't be too bad of a process. Damn. What are you doing here? Hold up, is this Miles underage like the one from Spider-Verse? Let me guess, your favorite character from Spider-Verse is either Miles or Gwen? Actually, my favorite character is Spider-Man 2099. Really? I thought it was that weird anime Spider-Man. I think her name was Penny. I mean, she is really cute and sexy. You did not just say that. But honestly, 2099 is just a more compelling character than Penny. Plus, she barely showed up in Across the Spider-Verse. Only a simple cameo. What a waste of a cute character. Ah, oh, shit, Kamala's calling me. Just let it go to voicemail. Not like she has anything important to say. Nah, she said if I answer every call, then maybe she'll let me hit. Joe, you are married. Barack, have you seen what Jill looks like? Kamala isn't any better, but game is game, I guess. Why do I bother? See you guys later. Remember, Joe, you're the goddamn president for now. So if she says something you don't like, remember to slap the black out of her. Roger that, Agent Orange. All right, peace. Look, Kamala, I'm trying to game with the boys, so make it quick. Why the fuck do you sound like that, and why can I see subtitles?
Good, I can finally have some peace and quiet without hearing your annoying ass laugh. Stop worrying so damn much. I'll beat him. Just you watch. Say no more. <laughs>